The next tuning method we will study also necessitates having the process cycle. First, we will take the Proportional Plus reset controller. Again, we start with the controller on manual and the proportional at a stable high value such as 300% or higher. Turn the reset to maximum time. Put the transfer switch to analog or automatic position. Make a small step change in the set point and observe the pin record. If the control record does not cycle, reduce the proportional band by one half and again observe the record. If we started at 300%, we would reduce to 150%. If the record does not cycle, again reduce the proportional band by one half. Continue these proportional band reduction steps and moving the set point until the process begins to cycle. Then double this proportional band setting. We will assume the cycling started at 75%. Then the correct proportional band setting will be 150%. Be sure to observe instructions for specific controllers. Some must be switched to manual when proportional band adjustments are made. We have the correct proportional band. Now we shall adjust the reset with the controller in the analog position. Cut the reset time to half its previous value in minutes. If it was 30, cut it to 15 minutes. Make a set point step change and observe the record. If the process does not cycle, Again, cut the reset time in half, or as near half as the adjustment will permit. Continue to cut the reset time in half and observe the record until a time is found that causes the process to cycle. Then double the reset time that caused the process to cycle. To tune the proportional plus reset plus derivative controller, set the reset to maximum time. Set the derivative to minimum or off position. Find the proportional band that causes the process to cycle and double that value exactly like we did with the proportional plus reset controller. Next, we will set the derivative time. With the controller on analog or automatic, set the derivative time to twice the minimum value on the scale, or the nearest switch point. Make a set point change and observe the chart record. Continue to double the rate time and observe the record until a time is found that causes the record to cycle. When cycling is observed, cut the derivative time in half. Adjust reset time to four times the derivative time. You may recall that this is the same relationship we selected between derivative time and rate time with our first tuning approach using the quarter decay curve. Throughout this last discussion, we have used the term proportional band. When we say cut the proportional band in half, what does this mean in terms of gain? Double the gain. 
we elected to adjust the derivative before the reset in this last example, simply because we were following a procedure in your workbook. We could just as well have adjusted the reset first while the derivative was turned off. This would have been the same procedure as for the proportional plus reset controller. Then, after the reset time is determined, set derivative at one quarter of the reset time. If the controller becomes unstable with any of the reset or derivative times determined by any method, it is only necessary to change the adjustment in the direction to make the process stable. Further, these or any tuning procedures get us close to optimum, but rarely exact. You may find examples where the derivative time is one half or nearly equal to the reset time. The one quarter decay recovery curve for our end product of tuning is desirable. Now work exercise four in your workbook. The next two tuning methods to be presented are generally attributed to Mr. Ziegler and Mr. Nichols of the Taylor Instrument Company. One method requires the process to cycle for information purposes. The second method requires a small step change in the process and an open loop reaction curve furnishes the information. We will first study the method for which we must cause the process to cycle. As with all tuning methods, first we adjust the proportional band. For a two or three mode controller, this means we eliminate the responses other than proportional. With the controller on manual, the reset at maximum time or minimum repeats per minute and the rate or derivative at minimum or off. Set the proportional band at a safe wide value or the gain at a safe low value. Safe means a position you believe will not cause the process to cycle. Put the controller on analog or automatic. Make a small set point change. Observe the record. If the process does not cycle, reduce the proportional band or increase the gain. Make another set point change. Continue this procedure until a gain or proportional band is found that causes the process to cycle with an amplitude ratio of one. The adjustment which produces this curve is called the ultimate proportional band, gain or sensitivity. The time in minutes for one cycle of the ultimate curve is called the ultimate period. Once we determine the ultimate proportional band and the ultimate period, we can calculate the proper settings for a one, two, or three response controller. For this reason, this tuning method is referred to as the ultimate method. For a proportional only controller, the optimum setting is twice the ultimate. The letter U stands for ultimate in all the formulas. 
For the Proportional Plus Reset Controller, the optimum settings are Percent Proportional Band equals 2.2 PBU Reset equals 1.2 over PU repeats per minute or equals PU over 1.2 in minutes per repeat. If sensitivity or gain is used instead of proportional band, the optimum settings for the proportional plus reset control are sensitivity equals 0.45 SU, gain equals 0.45 GU. For the proportional plus reset plus derivative, the optimum settings are percent proportional band equals 1.7 PBU, reset equals 2 over PU in repeats per minute, equals PU over 2 in minutes per repeat, derivative equals PU over 8 in minutes. In this example, the ultimate proportional band is 200%, and the ultimate period is 4 minutes. What are the optimum proportional band, reset, and derivative settings? The optimum proportional band is 140%. What is the optimum reset? The ultimate period is 4 minutes. The optimum reset is 0 0.5 repeats per minute or two minutes per repeat. The optimum derivative time for the ultimate period of four minutes is 0 0.5 minutes. The optimum settings for the 200% ultimate proportional band and four minute ultimate period are shown here. We are not expected to memorize the preceding formulas. They will be given in your workbook. Now work exercise three in your workbook. Now work exercise three in your workbook. 